Toy Spot, we are continuing our looks at the retro cloth figures from NECA of the Hateful Eight. Today we're having a look at Major Marcus Warren, the Bounty Hunter. This would be your entry into the Samuel Jackson part of Hateful Eight, as Samuel Jackson is a regular. Um, certainly he brought a lot to the table, as Samuel Jackson always brings stuff to the table in his character portrayals. Uh, the Bounty Hunter here comes featured with a couple of different pistols. Maybe he does also come with a letter from Abraham Lincoln. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, the back of the package, you got Samuel Jackson, Major Marcus Warren, the Bounty Hunter, down below Hateful Eight, and also being viewed in Ultra Panavision 70. Then finally on the underside, you've got uh, NECA Online, www.necaonline.com, if you want to check out the other retro cloth goodies that the folks over at NECA, NECA are producing. Spot is going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at Major Marcus Warren, the Bounty Hunter. It's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so for Major Marcus, his accessories include two pistols. Two different pistols. Well, they are they, they do look like they are similar enough. The barrels are slightly different though. The handles also, one is lighter brown, one is darker brown. You can either have, and I probably will display uh, Marcus here with both in his hand. Uh, they do fit very easily in his hand, as you can see right there. Uh, or you can also, he has holsters. And that's with the retro cloth, they're kind of hard to get to. Uh, he has a holster on the side and the holster on the front there as well. But I'll probably display him more so, I think, with the pistols in hand rather than having them in the holsters. Okay, so Warren really looks great. Warren in the movie was also great, but I mean, that goes without saying. It's Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson does not do a bad movie. Even if the movies are bad, Samuel Jackson generally is good in it. The figure is presented fantastically here in retro cloth treatment. Now, granted, his body is going to be the same retro cloth as you can see there if we roll up the sleeve. It's going to be the same body that they use for all the other figures, but where they really distinguish each figure from one another is all this fabric that they've put on him. The face sculpt is phenomenal. That's one of the better Samuel Jackson faces, even though he's got a beard and uh, longer hair. Bald on the top, though. Unfortunately, you can't take the hat off. The hat is uh, sculpted to the face. But just all the level of detail. The jacket, you could, you know, take the jacket off. And then underneath he's got, it's just, Spot tried it. There's just so much to take off on these things. And uh, I just ultimately, I'm just going to leave them on. But uh, it does look like, uh, it, you, you can take them off. And then underneath he would have his, you know, his gray suit on. And then underneath that he's got, a scarf, he's got a vest, a shirt, a tie. There's a lot on this figure. Um, I, the downside though, because the type of jacket that he's wearing, it just, it sticks up all over the place. It sticks up on the sides, sticks up on the back. You can see the yellow on the underside there of the outfit. This fabric, though the jacket feels like a regular fabric, the jacket here, or the, um, the top part of the jacket feels like it's almost like a crushed velvet which is really nice but i am extremely impressed with these figures retro cloth figures as a whole i'm really impressed by but like neca really went out of their way for these particular figures let's bring in one of the earlier uh, colleagues that he meets up with in his adventure there's john ruth the hangman asking Samuel Jackson for the letter to see the letter. Do you have the letter? I heard you have a letter from Lincoln. That plays a bit of a role in the movie, but look how different these figures are. And granted, as you will, these figures are different body builds or same body builds, but you can see how adding different material, they are completely different from one another. These probably these two, I haven't looked at the other ones yet, but these two are likely my favorites from this set. Now, in the way of Marcus's articulation, he does have a ball joint head. This will be consistently common with all the figures. A hinge shoulder. Now, the jack is limiting a lot of the motion in the arms, at least in the sense of moving the arms forward and back and out. It's a little harder because there's just so much material 
on Marcus here. Uh, the, sh the elbows bend, is rotation and hinge in the elbow. He has a waist swivel, and then he has a, actually a better range of motion, I find, than, uh, than John Ruth had. Hinge at the knee, and then he's also got the hinge foot. The only thing I could think of, it'd be nice if uh, NECA had included display stands. Now granted, they don't have holes on the undersides of their feet, but it would have been nice if they had included display stands for these figures as well. Great figures. If you love the movie, you'll really love these figures as well. Today's toy spot, we were having a look at the Hateful Eight, Major Marcus Warren, the Bounty Hunter. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's got five more videos. Five. Of course, it's Hateful Eight, after all. We have five more to look at. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.